I'm, I'm here because a number of years ago, my son was at lunch with us. With, my husband and I had taken him to lunch, my little boy, Spencer. And we noticed that he was coughing repeatedly, a lot. I mean, just unendingly. And so we took him home, and I did what most mothers would do. I gave him a little cough medicine, and I told him to lie down. And I realized very quickly that his heart was racing out of his shirt. Well, 25 minutes later or so, the heart was still racing, and I got really scared. So I said to my husband, you know what? I'm not waiting anymore. We're going to the emergency room. We were escorted immediately to a room where he was put on oxygen, and they started the IV drip of the steroids. We spent the next two nights in the ICU. You can imagine my husband and I were very scared. Um, we started to ask each other a lot of questions. How did this happen? Why us? They were calling it respiratory airways disease, which basically is just the precursor to asthma. They sort of don't want to call it asthma right out front. And I see all of you nodding your heads because I know that what I'm going to hear is that you've all been through the exact same thing and you know how truly frightening it is. My oldest son, who is four, is suffering from severe allergies and we had to have his tonsils and adenoids removed last year. He had one of those terrible coughs that Sloane was talking about with her son. My daughter, who's um, three years old, she's been sick for the last five weeks. She's had this horrible cough. Last night she was up and I was up for about three hours because she kept coughing. And I've given her tons of different medicines. It's not going away. I had an incident just this past week. We were visiting with my mother in Texas. And my son, my youngest son, every night he was having these coughing spells, coughing, coughing. And then one night he just had a, an all blown out asthma attack. I have a five-year-old daughter and she has asthma. And no one in my family has a history of asthma. No one in her father's family has a history of asthma. I started to ask the doctors a lot of questions. They said, well, why are you surprised? Asthma is the number one reason that kids come to the emergency room at New York Hospital. Wow, that surprised me. So then I started to ask my parents and my in-laws. Turns out that four generations back on both sides of the families, nobody had ever had any pulmonology issue whatsoever. No food allergy, no asthma, nothing. So well then why? Why now? Why this adore? He's really cute. You got to meet him. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, why him, right? And we realized that there's genetics or there's environmental. It's one or the other. And clearly it wasn't genetic, so it had to be environmental. So we started to do our research, right? And that's what mothers do. When we don't know how to deal with things, we start to look for answers. And we found out some pretty scary things, which I don't know if all of you know. How about the fact that one out of every 13 school-aged children in America has asthma? That's a big number. Then I found out that um, asthma rates in kids under five have risen 160% between the years of 1980 and 1994. Uh, that, that's pretty big too. And I started to learn through doing a lot of reading that there was this direct correlation between the toxins found in our common household cleaners and the rates of asthma and allergies. I started to think about how I was going to spread this message because it's a message about our homes, it's a message about asthma, it's a message about those little lungs and those little people, and it's also a message about the planet. And I wanted a way to get moms together to talk about it because I think really we are the, the change makers, so to speak. We're the ones who can really make a difference. And I had this thought that if we all got together, that not only could you all hear the message, but then maybe you could help me to spread the message.